News in Oshkosh this morning for many families. Veterans Day isn't isn't just once a year, it's every day for the folks at the Military Veterans Museum. Paying tribute to our servicemen and women is their specialty. Local 5's John Dommel joins us live from Oshkosh with a look through America's wartime history. Good morning. All right, good morning, Shelley. It's uh, 1918, November 11th. It's about 100 years ago that the Treaty of Versailles formally brought World War I to a close. We've got Grady Freeman on the program, volunteer here at the Military Museum in Oshkosh. How's it going, sir? Good, very good. Hey, we got a spread here of World War I weapons. We're gonna start with World War I, we're gonna make our way to World War II, and so on and so forth. But let's, uh, let's start with brass tacks here. What's going on? Well, we've got the, the M1903 Springfield. Correct. What is this? Talk this, a little bit about this guy. This is one of the very first weapons that, we, that came around. Um, that could be fed from the top with a five round clip. Uh, it was a bolt action rifle. Uh, it was good up to about 800 yards. And so this is one of the one of the first true weapons that we used. And we used it all the way up into the Vietnam War whenever we still used them as sniper rifles. Uh, is a very good. This was a uh... In, in World War II, this was a sniper as well, and uh, this was Barry Pepper's weapon in Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> it is, it is. That's exactly what it was. And this uh, debuted in the Spanish-American War. Okay, and uh, you know, we've got a few seconds left here, but the BAR, Browning Automatic Rifle. People Correct. probably remember this for World War II, but this is a World War I debut, if you want it, to take that. It was. This was made in 1918, and it replaced um, one of the, uh, the, the French weapons. Uh, it had a 20-round magazine. It was also shot a 30 out 6 um, and whenever it did, it gave a chance to be like a light machine gun for the very first time. So troops over the hill, they could go up there and engage their targets. And this with the bipod, you could engage targets all the way up to 1,500 yards. Anything that fired more than one round every X amount of seconds Correct. was a marvel in World War I, largely. <laughs> the, the first rifle you saw could only shoot about 10 to 15 rounds per minute with being aimed. This could fire anywhere from about 150 to 200 rounds per minute, actually well, way, well aimed. So it's quite a difference. Hey, very cool stuff. Hey, thank you so much. And uh, you know, we'll, we'll continue where we left off in the next segments here. I'm bumping into everything. All right, back to you guys. All right, thank you, John. Little did everybody know John was such a wartime history buff there. Look at that.